Hi, I'm Andrew Zimmerman. I'm one of StarChefs.com's 2011 Rising Star Chefs for Chicago. We're here at my restaurant, Sepia, and we're going to go in the back and cook a crispy poached duck egg with a ragu of morels, asparagus, ramps, and confit duck gizzards on my jade range. First thing that we're going to want to do is get our confit duck gizzards going. We've already cured the duck gizzards with salt, garlic, herbs, and now they're in a little bit of rendered duck fat with garlic, rosemary, and thyme. We'll slide them into the oven. They're going to take about three hours or so until they're tender. One of the nice features of the jade oven that I have is it's got a nice thick steel plate that's been installed. Evens out the heat a lot so there's no hot spots in the oven and it also helps the oven recover when we're in and out of it during service. Got some poached duck eggs here. There's a local farmer that we get our duck eggs from and we just poach them real simply and then we're going to bread them standard with uh, flour, egg, and we're going to use some panko breadcrumbs for it. And then we can just hold on to that for a little bit while we get the rest of the ragu together. So the next thing we're just going to want to blanch some asparagus pretty straightforward. Drop in some boiling water, salted of course, and then in a second or two we'll shock it in some ice water. And then that's going to be one of the components of our ragu to go with the duck egg. Now that our asparagus is blanched and shocked, all we have to do is get it cut up we're going to cut up our ramps and then saute them in a little duck fat. So let's get started getting that together. Our confit duck gizzards are done. And we're going to steal a little bit of the fat out of the pan that we're going to use when we start to cook our ramps. We'll throw that in the center of the stove where it's hottest. One of the reasons why we wanted to set our stove up like this is with a graduated French top like this. The center is the hottest spot and then the heat is uh, you know, diffused out so in the front and the back it's not nearly as hot. So I need to cut up some asparagus as the next step of this but I want my ramps to keep cooking. So I'm going to slide it right up here in the front where the heat's not nearly as strong and let them just sort of cruise along a little bit while we attend to our asparagus. So we'll put a real simple little bias cut on our blanched asparagus. And then we can turn our attention back to the ramps, which have been sitting here on the edge of the French top. In the back, raised up, we've been keeping some morels warm. We braised these in uh, some chicken jus and cognac. And then all we have to do is add those into the pan with our ramps. We have a little bit of extra chicken jus here that we're going to add in, so there's enough sauce. Let that simmer together for just a minute or so. We're gonna cut up the duck gizzards a little, and then we're gonna add the asparagus, the duck gizzards into the pot, fry our duck egg, and then we'll plate it up. So obviously we'll wanna drain off our duck gizzards because they're in a nice bunch of rendered duck fat. And we're just gonna cut them up a little bit so that they're about the same size as the morels and the asparagus. While we're here, we'll get the herbs together. We need a little bit of fresh thyme and a little bit of fresh parsley to go in the ragu. Then we can bring that back over to the stove. Once our morels have had a chance to simmer for a little bit, we're going to add the gizzards, we'll add the herbs, and then we'll throw the asparagus in at the last minute so it stays nice and green and vibrant. Season it up and then we'll fry our duck egg. And then we'll just throw this back in the corner, up on a rack. The heat back in the back of the French top is not very high, so it'll stay nice and warm there for us while we're waiting to get our duck egg fried. So we've set up a little fryer here with um, duck fat. Makes sense if we're doing a dish that's got all this other duck in it. So we've set up a little fryer and we have our breaded poached duck egg. And we're just going to deep fry it in the duck fat for a couple of seconds just to get it crispy on the outside. And then the yolk will still be nice and runny on the inside, just the way you'd like it. This is only going to fry for about a um, minute and a half, two minutes, just long enough so that the uh, 
The panko on the outside gets nice and golden brown and crispy because since we've already poached the egg, the egg is essentially cooked and we want to make sure that the yolk stays running. So really only about two minutes. We have our oil a little higher than usual too. It's about 375, 380 because of that same reason. We want to get the outside cooked really quickly, but we don't want to have the yolk compromised by overcooking it. So our duck egg is done. It's nice and golden brown and crispy on the outside. So we'll just drain that off and season it right away with a little salt. And then we're ready to plate it up. We're gonna take the ragu that we made and finish it with just a little bit of butter. We'll adjust the seasoning with some salt and pepper. Fortunately, by confiting the duck gizzards, you get a lot of good seasoning from that, so you don't really need too much salt. But it does like a lot of pepper. And then you're gonna to wanna to take the nice ragu that you've made, put it in the bottom of a bowl, preferably, to catch all of the roasted jus that you've made. Um, and the duck egg yolk that is going to come out when you crack through your crispy fried shell. And then we'll place our duck egg on the top. We like to serve it with a little bit of uh, toasted multigrain bread and garnish it with a few fresh chervil leaves. And there you go, crispy poached duck egg with a ragu of asparagus, ramps, morels, and confit duck gizzards cooked entirely on my graduated French top jade range.